In this lesson, we're going to calculate missing angles on a straight line, and we're going to identify vertically opposite angles. So angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. So we can use this fact to work out angle A because the 50 degrees plus the angle A in degrees equal to 180 degrees. So we can treat it like an equation and we can take away 50 degrees from both sides because 50 take away 50 will cancel. So angle A will equal 180 degrees minus the 50 degrees. So angle A will be 130 degrees. For question B, again, we know the two angles, 35 degrees plus angle B in degrees will equal 180 degrees because the angles along the straight line add up to 180. So we can take 35 degrees from both sides. And again, these will cancel because 35 take away 35 is zero. So angle B will be 180 degrees minus the 35 degrees. So angle B is 145 degrees. For question C, the two angles add up to 180. So angle C plus angle 74 degrees add up to 180 degrees. We can take 74 degrees from both sides, which means these will cancel. So angle C will equal 106 degrees, which is 180 take away with 74. So moving on, we're going to look at vertically opposite angles. So we're going to use the same fact of angles on a straight line add up to 180. So to work out angle D, we're going to do 180 degrees take away the 40 degrees, which is going to be 140 degrees. Now we're going to show why angle E is equal to and vertically opposite the 40 degree angle because this angle E lies along a different straight line but again the two straight lines add up to 180. So angle E is going to be 180 minus 140 which is 40 degrees. So you can see the two angles E and 40 are equal and angle F we can work out as 180 take away the other angle along the straight line which is 40 so angle F is again 140 degrees which is equal and vertically opposite to angle D. For the next question we can work out angle G using angles along the straight line add up to 180 so 180 take away the other two angles take away the 60 take away the 50 must equal angle G so 180 take away with 60 is 120 120 take away 50 must equal G so angle G is going to be 70 degrees and finally we know I and the 35 degree are vertically opposite so therefore they must be equal so angle I is going to be 135 degrees and we also know that these two angles H and J are vertically opposite so we can work out angle H by doing 180 take away the other angle along the same straight line so angle H is going to be 45 degrees. Angle J will be the same because it is vertically opposite. Thank you for watching and I do hope you found that useful.